Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there and more importantly, staying positive. There is a lot happening in the crypto space. That is why I love talking about it every single day on my channel, especially with Ripple and the SEC. Today, I'm going to be speaking about Quant and why I'm so bullish on it. And also the Australian Central Bank is very bullish on private coins and tokens in the crypto space. So again, I'm going to go through that all with you today. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I love talking with everyone in the comments and the community tab. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there. Turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom, and yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. It's been absolutely incredible so far. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything, all right? It's down there. Thank you very much. Would really appreciate it. Also, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose, but you can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto, all right? So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. Yes, I'm in my office. There's been a lot happening in the crypto space literally in the last 12 hours, even over the weekend. That's why I love the game. And also, I just want to point out as well that you know, the reason why I talk about crypto so much on my channel is because I believe honestly that it is a um, an opportunity of a lifetime to really make significant wealth and generate some serious money extremely quickly. And this is the reason why I'm so bullish on cryptocurrencies, as we all know. I honestly believe that we are right on the cusp of something absolutely you know, revolutionary. All right. That's why I talk about it on my channel. And this is why I talk about my favorite projects. You know, as we all know, XRP, Ripple, uh, Hedera, uh, Stella, XLM, Quant, all of these projects are actually being used by financial institutions. And again, if we have the ability and the option to invest in these things right now before all the institutions and, you know, bigger hedge funds do, I'm all in for it. All right. So that's why I love talking about it. Anyway, enough of my rant. Let's go to the community tab today. Taco stand is officially emptied out right now. Last, obviously, four hours ago, it had 188. That is now down to zero. So he is officially out of XRP, which is nice. But however, he may still hold some XRP in another wallet that we may or may not know of. So uh, just pointing that out. These were my altcoins that were up in my portfolio at 7 a.m. this morning. I wake up very early and I love doing that. You've had Matic up 6%. Win was up 4.88%. You had Axe Infinity up 2.57%. Neo was up 2.16%. And of course, Algorand up 0.013. So 0.13, sorry, but not too much for Algo. But again, still bullish on that, ladies and gentlemen. And again, I just want to make something very clear. And I've seen a lot of hateful comments and stuff in here. There's no hate in the crypt. Like, I don't even know why people hate, like, and just put stupid comments. Seriously, Ripple will have spent, at the end of this case, $100 million on legal fees to save the entire crypto industry, especially in the United States, all right? And this is crazy. Nobody in their right mind would spend $100 million if they thought they were not going to win. So, I mean, like, they're going to win this case. They are so you know, right and accurate with their information, okay? They know that there is, you know, clearly mentions of XRP not being a security in those Hinman emails and documents right now. Why do you think they're fighting so hard and spending this amount of money? I mean, straight up, you would not spend this amount of money if you didn't actually believe you were going to win. Straight up, you would just settle and just basically do what the SEC wanted. But no, Ripple is fighting to the end. And again, there's been a bullish article from Forbes right now, basically saying that the SEC has been slapped down. I'm going to read through that as well because it's a very bullish article. But anyway, let's go to CoinSpot. Um, uh, this is where I buy my cryptos in Australia, by the way. Please feel free to use the referral link below. You will get $10 in Bitcoin. But of course, with that, do your own research. Of course, all these prices are in Australian dollars, Australian dollars, Australian dollars. I will repeat it, Australian dollars. 
and it is the 18th of July. These prices are not old. Everything else is set to USD because I'm catering for everybody around the world. Bitcoin sitting at 31 thousand Australian dollars today all right ethereum is up today to two thousand dollars which is quite nice xrp is at 53 cents you've got cardano at 68 cents right now solana's at 59 dollars i am not investing into solana again the litigation case that is coming up right now could see a massive drop in solana obviously you've got dogecoin at nine cents you've got polka dot at ten dollars moving down matic is up nearly five percent today which is nice to a dollar fifteen AVAX is up slightly today to $32. I'm actually not invested in AVAX. Let me know in the comments below if you are. Some other ones here, obviously, you've got Ethereum Classic absolutely pumping right now, 22.89%, $31. Um, again, I'm not too bullish on Ethereum, to be quite honest with you. I'm really not. And uh, honestly, if uh, Ripple wins this lawsuit, they may go after Ethereum because it did have an ICO straight up, all right? So, you know, again, what Michael Saylor is saying about Ethereum being an ICO, uh, a, a security, I agree. Anyway, Stella is at 16 cents. Jed McCaleb, ladies and gentlemen, near protocols at $5. Algorand is at 51 cents. VeChain at 3 cents, my favorite one right there. Hedera is at 9 cents. Incredible governance board, too big to fail. Quant is down 1.43% today, $152. It is quite expensive. Yes, it is right now. It is expensive to buy one quant. But I will say that $152, you know, with a prediction of being at least, you know, four digits, if not more, five digits, ten to twenty thousand dollars. What is $152 right now? It's nothing. So again, I'm definitely buying more quant. I'm so bullish on it. And it just makes me more happier to dollar cost average, by the way. So anyway, Theta's at $1.82. You've got Axe Infinity at $22. Moving down to my other favorites right here. IOTA is at $0.42. Cents. You've got the graph at $0.15. Cents. NEO is at $14. Moving down right here, ladies and gentlemen, you've got Zill at $0.05. Cents. Of course, Gala is up slightly today, 2%. $0.27. Cents. XDC is up 4.38%. $0.24, cents, which is nice. Finally, we're above three cents or 3.9. And again, it's incredibly undervalued. It really is. And again, it's partnered with Impel. You know, millions and millions of transactions per day are going to be on the Sinfin network right now. So XDC is definitely undervalued. All right, it should already be up at the levels like XRP, IOTA, Algorand, all of these projects. Again, it's at four cents. Moving on, let's go to Crypto Bubbles and see what is happening on the day right now. Of course, you've got Ethereum Classic right here, absolutely pumping. 23% on the day. On the week, it's up 39%, which is still incredible. 47% on the month right now. And let's just go to the all-time high of that. $73 was its all-time high, which again, it will easily go back up to there. I mean, all altcoins will go back up. You've got Lido Dow, again, high was at $6. Still up 210% on the month. Again, I don't know anyone. Actually, I saw one comment. I will take the back. I saw one comment in my uh, my last video yesterday that someone is invested in Lido and has made profits. So good on you. If that were me, I would take some of my initial investment out. That's for sure. Uh, what else we got here? You've got ICP up slightly today at five point two percent. All time was hundred. Oh, sorry, was seventy eight dollars. Basically, I saw this at around $140 when it was absolutely flying uh, early last year, and I did not take any interest in this, but $7.36 again. I'm not too bullish on ICP. You've got Dash up 5% today as well, $47 USD. What else have we got here? Filecoin. Obviously, the high was $108, so again, it's at $5 right now. So could it go back up? Of course, anything can happen in crypto, especially now that we're sort of coming out of this, I believe anyway, this bear market trend. I mean, we're starting to see green prices over the weekend, which hasn't happened for a long time. Uh, and of course, Matic right here. I'm bullish on Matic. 5% on the day, 34% on the week, 91% on the month, and 8.9% on the year. And again, its all-time high was at $2.79 USD. So really nice right there, ladies and gentlemen. Polygon Matic, very bullish on that one. This is an incredible news article right here. This is uh, in relation to SEC and Ripple, of course. The slapdown is a wake-up call to Congress. How bullish is that language? The slapdown right now. Of course, you've got here on July 12th, the U.S. District Court rejected the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to request to withhold to documents 
and on the so-called Hinman speech of 2018, in a highly anticipated ruling in the ongoing SEC vs. Ripple case, Magistrate Netburn denied the SEC's motion citing attorney-client uh, and deliberative process privilege. Uh, the judge slammed the agency for hiding documents which could answer questions in front of the court. She called the behavior so erigious, uh, erigious right there, <laughs> whatever that says, I can't even read it on my screen, uh, that it's impugns the agency's faithful allegiance to the law. Anyway, legal language right there. Congress should heed her forceful deliberative words, uh, deliberate words. The House Financial Services Committee holds an oversight hearing on the SEC Enforcement Division next Tuesday. Chairman Maxine Waters can ask them directly where their allegiance lies with the public and the law or their own personal interests. Well, we all know that it's got to do with their own personal interests. Everyone is getting kickbacks straight up right now. Honestly, I believe that there's a lot of corruption in the SEC. Why? I mean, literally, it is the only enforcement agency that is hindering innovation in the United States. Really. Gary Gensel needs to disappear from the SEC. He needs to go on a holiday, just go away, move away, put someone in place who is actually going to help and... Um, um, What's the word? Encourage innovation in the United States, all right? Because it has an effect on the entire crypto market. Unbelievable. So the blockbuster case goes bust. Ripple, no matter who it sells it or how it is sold, it seems the agency thought it could force a quick and dirty settlement and put big crypto hide in its trophy case right now. And that's facts. I mean, this is what I'm saying. You would not spend $100 million, you know, fighting for something if you didn't truly believe you were going to win it, all right? So again, the SEC was doing this to deliberately go after a crypto project like Ripple and didn't expect the, uh, obviously, what they're fighting for right now. So they didn't expect this slap in the face, all right? So it's unbelievable that Ripple's doing this. So Ripple becomes the ripped, a riptide right now. So neither the judge nor the defendants played along with this scheme. Moreover, Ripple didn't fold. It assembled a top legal team and hit back at the agency ferociously. Bullish. Anyway, moving on right here. Ripple's defenses with the enterprise, uh, oh, sorry, the centerpiece of Hinman's market moving speech documented the SEC's failure to provide the fair notice to the market on XRP status. With this revelation right here, the SEC has been stumbled and bumbling to hide Hinman, his emails, his speech draft, his calendar, and anything related to his tenor. Why? Because he already says XRP is not a security and they don't, they don't want that to get out. All right, They don't want it to get out right now. So the SEC's hapless lawyers have spent almost two years defending the absurd lawsuit against the enterprise blockchain company, Ripple Labs. They tried to prevent Hinman from being deposed by Ripple until the judge could finally sort through the technical or the tactical obstructions and order him to sit last year. They insisted the speech was irrelevant to the markets and, and to the case. Then they tossed out the privileged arguments right now, one more crazy than the last, to refuse to hand over any internal documents Ripple was seeking for its defense. By last Tuesday, they'd run out of reasons right now. So again, this is just a really bullish article. I'm not going to go through everything right here. But again, the question remains whether the SEC will change its tune. Congress should demand an answer right now. And I agree, uh, I agree sorry. Congress should demand answers right now from Gensler and get it out of him. Otherwise, remove him from the position as the top chief of the SEC. Moving on. Quant gains 100% in one month. And I'm glad I invested my money into Quant because it's up significantly, which is nice. Where is QNT headed right now? Quant has positioned itself as a network that focuses on interoperability. Through the Overledger technology, Quant promises to disrupt the blockchain network and create a system where all networks can work together. At the center of the Quant blockchain is QNT token. The QNT is one of the best performing cryptocurrencies this month. And data from CoinGecko shows that it has been up by around 103% over the past month. And again, it has been holding up extremely well during these really bearish times. Really, it has. So again, I'm glad I invested some of that and I should have put more into it. Now, obviously, I just want to show you this as well. Coin Perspective is a great website just uh, for those of you who are interested right now to see the market cap. All right, its current price of Quant is at $101 right now. Let's go down here to a price prediction right here. I'm going to refresh this. All right, so if it goes to $1,000, it would require a market cap right there of 13.4 billion. Again, it's not much. 
If I go 10,000, it would need a market cap of 134 billion. If I was to put for, for example, let's say $20,000 right here, $268 billion market cap. So again, that is not in the realm of impossible, all right? It is very possible for Quant to hit that. It would need a market cap of $268.3 billion. One Quant would be worth $20,000, an upside of 197x. That can happen. It has less of a supply, total supply than Bitcoin. And again, it is being used by governments, institutions for CBDCs as well as on-demand liquidity, you know, cross-border payments, it's all there. I'm so bullish on Quant right now. I want to invest at least, you know, ten to twenty thousand dollars if I had the capital there. But um working on that at the moment. Anyway, bullish on that. Let me know in the comments below. Coinbase insolvency rumors grow following recent uh, suspension. Recent su suspension of the affiliate program. Not that I care, because to be quite honest, I don't really use Coinbase that much anyway. I do have an account with them, but I don't use it as much, and I do not keep my coins on exchanges. Everyone needs to take their coins off exchanges, put them in a wallet. I see, oh, I get so many comments about it. Either get a Ledger, a Trezor. If you can't access those, get a Trust Wallet on your phone. Um, I know that XDC is stored on Garda Wallet. You can do that. It's a pain in the rear if you need to back it up, just saying. Um, but Trust Wallet is fine if you can't access a Ledger or a Trezor or any other cold wallet. Um, just get your cryptos off exchanges because, I mean, if Coinbase goes down, this is going to have a massive effect on the entire market right now. So liquidity crisis rumors are circulating in the crypto space over Coinbase decision uh, to suspend its affiliate program. Some have argued that its decision is because the firm is currently insolvent, which is mind-blowing. And our CEO, Brian Armstrong, right now says the firm is well capitalized to ride through the crypto winter right now. And... Uh, you know, if you're taking all everyone's cryptos off the exchange, where are they getting their, their uh, liquidity from? So uh, I'd be very interested to see that again. So keep an eye on that. Take your cryptos off Coinbase if you've got them on there, please. Uh, Australian Central Bank Governor, the Aussies right now, prefers privately issued tokens over CBDCs. Australia Central Bank Governor Philip Lowe uh, said that he prefers regulated private tokens over CBDCs, which again, I do not like CBDCs, just saying. They're like food stamps for people, and they can be controlled, which again is not good. Our other leaders at the summit agreed with Philip Lowe, preferring to regulate stable coins over DeFi. The Financial Stability Board of G20 countries will draft new rules for its member countries in October 2022. Everything seems to be happening this year. Full on right now. So again, keep an eye on this, ladies and gentlemen. Again, private tokens, you know, companies such as Ripple, Quant. Uh, Hedera, Stella, you know, all of these companies, Sinfin, all have this technology right now. So again, why wouldn't they be just jumping on their, you know, either one of these platforms, which we, we all know that it's already happening as we speak. And uh, Rob Kiyosaki right now, expect the greatest sale on earth for Bitcoin and real estate. All right. So again, I'm involved in real estate here in Australia as well, uh, real estate development and property development. And I can honestly say that uh, if the, you know, the inflation keeps going up, Obviously, the uh, interest rates keep going up, uh, which they're predicted to go, you know, even further north. Um, it's going to be uh, have a massive effect on the entire real estate market. And again, everything's going to be on sale pretty much. They're really trying to stop inflation, and the only way they can do that is to keep rising or raising interest rates right now, which is going to stop people spending money, you know, on luxury items. So uh, keep an eye on this. Everything is going to have a massive effect as well, and especially on cryptos as well. So uh, he is right in, re in regards to that. Uh, Cryptometer.io, I'm going to have a quick look at where the money's been flowing. BNB, Ethereum, you've got uh, Myth right here, GTO and XMR Monero. Bitcoin, obviously, Tron, Solana, Matic, LTC. You've got Bond, Axie Infinity, GMT, Steppen, TUSD, and Win. Again, I've got a you know a decent position to win because it's a you know it's a low cap gem right there. Moving on, World OTC. Going to show you this right now. I'm sitting at 983 USD tether at the moment, and you can see I'm actually about to enter a trade. I'm making uh you know 3.2 percent per day using the iMacro script. It is linked below. It is free. Of course, this is high risk, high reward. Again, you can see the profits right there averaging around 3.7 at the moment. And again, if I actually do this now with you live on the channel, let's just go here, AO matching. And let me go down here, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, you can see right here and I go start trade. 
So you can see it's entering the deal right now and it will show the profit immediately. $3.93 right now. I call it cents anyway. So $3.93, it's basically $3.93 USD Tether. I go confirm. Bang, the deal's locked in three hours right there. And again, if you have the iMacro script, it makes it a lot easier, to be quite honest. Uh, because, I mean, if you're sleeping, you're not going to be able to push that button. So that's why the iMacro script is working pretty nicely right now. So again, everything's below. Again, do not invest anything more than you can afford to lose in this because that's what I've done. I had money to spare on my trade, one of my trading bots and I put it into this because it was doing nothing. And again, it's seeing some pretty incredible returns. So again, this is roughly around about 1400 Australian dollars. So, you know, it's making me passive income and I have been able to withdraw it as well using the Google Authenticator. Let's move on right now to uh, Twitter. I have a quick read through this right now. Quant review by Web3 Reviews. Quant received a high review score of nine and a half out of 10. I honestly believe it's 10 out of 10. Quant delivers interoperable ecosystem and real world solutions that lower the cost to prevent and prevent risk. Quant has a world-class use cases right now. Of course, Quant has a patent pending solutions and global clients. We haven't even seen the beginning of what these projects are doing right now behind the scenes with governments and institutions. Stop thinking you can 2x your account in a single year. Start realizing that it will take you seven years on average, and I agree. And if you are lucky enough to get in one of these meme coins and make an absolute fortune with 100 to $200, and you've made some profits, that's fantastic, but that is highly unlikely to happen again. I think the meme coin, meme coin era is gone, well and truly gone, and they've all been washed out of the market right now. So again, seven years is basically an average right there. Uh, what in the world is happening right here? Some pretty crazy stuff. Chrome is used by 3.2 billion people. Google Docs is used by 1.8 billion people. 1 billion people use Google Drive every day. 2.2 billion people use Gmail. Um, it's absolutely insane right here. But I just want to show you that uh, a lot of people are using Google right now. So what do you think about that? Google controls a lot right now. It's scary stuff. You obviously have got here Philip Lowe in the Australian, um, obviously the governor here, our, uh, sorry, our, our government bank right here saying that private tokens are preferred. So ordinary Americans are hurting, but it looks like Congress is doing just fine. You've got Nancy Pelosi here disclosing a $5 million stake in NVIDIA, which is crazy. So, well, obviously, they're making a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen, and they're disclosing it right now. So where are they getting all their money from? Pretty full on. Uh, again, Jed's balance right here is at zero. US, oh, sorry, US XRP again. He's probably got another wallet somewhere. We'll keep an eye on that. Plan B, in case my latest tweet was not clear, most top buyers, obviously 60K, already sold and note also some early buyers 10k profit taking since october 2021 if you had bought bitcoin at 10k you'd be doing quite nicely right now again this is interesting right here how quickly can they forget that xrp is going to be the first regulated coin note how is it how it says virtual currency right here and what we are in now obviously the year 2022 this is on the federal register right here they've already said virtual currency it's a virtual currency right here. Check this out. Platform to support cross-border money transfers as well as a virtual currency, XRP, which can be used to affect uh, settlements of these transfers right now. I mean, it's already a virtual currency. Why doesn't the judge see this? Moving on. This is interesting right here again. This is that news article in Forbes. It was a vindication for small band of observers who long ago saw the SEC lost in a maze of its own making with this case. And now it is clear to everybody that they are corrupt. Of course, Fed officials preparing to lift interest rates by another 0.75%, which is going to be crazy bad. Interesting stuff here. You've got New Zealand inflation reaches 7.3%, the highest it's seen in 32 years. That is full on not understanding money and crypto is a risk. Of course it is. And your fear and greed index is sitting at 20 right now. So, uh, you know, again, we're moving up slightly, but again, I'm still taking this as an opportunity to dollar cost average in time, my investments. And again, Jeremy Hogan on that Forbes article right here, man, this lady can write, I agree. Moving down right here, the end is near. Now I just want to play you this video from yesterday. I think the internet is going to be one of the major forces for reducing the role of government. The only thing that's missing is a reliable form of e-cash. Friedman right here, have a listen to this. You can, uh, you can, uh, uh, computer companies now are getting their 
uh, programming done in India. Mm -hmm. I doubt that anybody's paying any taxes on any of that. No. So that I think that the Internet is going to be one of the major forces for reducing the role of government. And the one thing that's missing, but that will soon be developed, is a reliable e-cash, a method whereby on the Internet you can transfer funds from A to B without A knowing B or B knowing A. There you go right now. I mean, how old is that interview right there? So that's just crazy right there. Anyway, moving on, let's go to coin market cap to see what the market is doing right now. 957 billion total market cap, $57 billion in volume right now, 41% BTC, 17% Ethereum. If XRP becomes one of the only regulated cryptocurrencies, it will flip Ethereum. It has done it before. It will do it again. We're in the greens at the moment. Again, I only talk about my favorite cryptocurrencies on here. These ones right here, ladies and gentlemen, XRP, Stellar, Algorand, Hedera, Quant, IOTA, and XDC. Now, if I go to Quant, 101 USD right now, and again, it has less of a supply than Bitcoin, 14 million Quant. So again, it can easily hit 10 to $20,000. You know, we're just getting started. That's why I'm so bullish on it. Anyway, thank you very much for everyone watching this far in the video make sure you smash the subscribe button down there follow me on all socials any questions or comments let's talk in the comments all right stay safe we'll speak to you soon peace bye